So if you want to yep. spruce up the house in order to sell it, not that you're going to be selling yours, no, actually, just but you might have a home improvement project. And I know you just took on kitchen cabinets, or um, you're about to. I'm a, I'm a, over there. I'm sorry for interrupting. Go ahead. You've never been invited. Well, some, uh, you're not going to get invited with that. <laughs> so uh, that, that picture right there, Kathy, as you saw, a lot of cabinets. But beautiful already. Ah. Yeah. Woo. You think they're too dark? I, I Is don't that like what the oak on them. I want to. Okay. I want to paint them. Um, because of the hot real estate market, we bought one. We did, and we had to buy the house with oak cabinets, as you're seeing here. And I said, that's okay. I'm going to paint them. However, the last house that we sold, I painted all of them. It's a lot of work, and the paint chipped because I didn't do it the right way. So I said. I'm going to get some tips for this time around. So I went to uh, my hardware star Park Rose in Vancouver and they showed me how to do it the proper way. I am here with Diane at Park Rose Hardware and Diane, you're going to show us the proper way to paint those kitchen cabinets. It's a big job, but you've it got is. a couple it methods is. for us. Yeah. So the thing is, is when you start with the kitchen cabinets, a lot of times they're going to have grease and grime build up on them. So you want to wash them properly. So you want to wash them down with TSP. Okay. The next step is going to be to sand them, or in this case, what I used was a sander de gloss, or a because lot easier. Nobody likes sanding cabinets. Nobody <laughs> likes to sand cabinets, you're right. It's a pain, so the sander de gloss you use with a rag, and you're wiping it in a swirly motion type of thing. After that, then you're gonna wanna use your tack cloth, mm -hmm. okay, and the tack cloth is gonna take any dust off of there, that type of thing, so that when you go to paint, you don't have any little pieces that are in the way, okay? okay? So what I did here is this is using your advanced uh, primer, it's very important to use a primer. You want to have it bond correctly and stay on there. So use an advanced primer. Obviously, you can see it doesn't go on like a nice coat of paint. And is it just one coat typically? Just one coat of primer okay. is all you need, okay? Then this is one coat of the advance in the high gloss, and I just used their plain white. It this is, is a, one coat, you said? That's just one coat. And what you're seeing is you're seeing the, the wood grain, not like brush strokes. It is a self-leveling paint. It's a water-based alkyd paint. It dries very hard like enamel, like a, almost like a nail polish enamel. Um, 16 hours and you can sand it and put a light coat or a second coat on. So it has to dry for 16 hours before you can do a light sanding. Then again, you would use your tack cloth mm -hmm. and put your second coat on. Now this comes in different colors, but also different finishes as well. Right. I want a matte cabinet, you've got that. I've got matte, I've got a satin finish, I've got eggshell, and then I've got the high gloss, or okay. semi-gloss and high gloss. I'm always curious, do I use a roller? Do I use a brush? What's gonna give me the best look? You know, it, it really depends. When I'm doing cabinets that have grooves like this, I'm gonna use a brush. If I have a large flat surface, you can use a roller. The nice thing about the Advanced is it's self-leveling. So whether I use the roller or the brush, I've done it both ways. The roller um, does level out just like the brush, okay? But you have a little bit of the, the rolly look. Um, the other nice thing about the Advanced is it is a waterborne paint, waterborne alkyd. It's thin enough that it can go through a sprayer without being, um, oh, what do I want to say, without being thin. So the sprayers work really well on your cabinets and trims. Okay, cabinet last, doors. Last up, Diane, we are going to uh, put me to the test because I'm going to paint <laughs> okay. my cabinet soon. So my, why don't you have me? We picked out uh, just a lovely shade of what do you she call did. this? Uh, you know, <laughs> it's kind of a, a light tealy blue. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to do this or, in my kitchen. Maybe it's a bird. I don't know. Egg All bird. Right, blue. Let's do this. So you we're going to do this. There? Yep. Let me get this stuff out of your way here. Okay. And you're going to take the brush. You know, this has already been primed here. Okay, so let's okay. see how it looks. Let's see how I do. Not bad. Okay. Ooh. So when you do bad. that, yeah, you're gonna want to, you know, just make your brush strokes go with your, you know, your wood type of thing. You don't want to over paint, over stroke either. Right? No. And then you want to make sure that when you're brushing, you see how it gets pooled up down here. You've got to get your pools and puddles out, and, go. and you're good. All right. I think I'm ready to go. I think I've you're got ready a to lot go. Of cabinets to paint. So wish me luck. <laughs> good luck. You'll be fine. Thank you. You bet. Ashley, I can't wait to see the after pictures. Yeah, well, You'll I'm, have to bring them in. As I told you, I'm mentally preparing myself because it's such a big job. So one of these days I'll start. Yeah, good <laughs> luck.